Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today we're going to be looking at some more creations on the workshop. Creations that caught my attention in any way, whether they're cool, weird, interesting, amazing, or sometimes even just plain stupid. And we're starting off with this thing right here. This is the Enforcer Car Mech Transformer. It is an armed SUV capable of transforming into a hovering slash flying mech. This was created by Mechsoft. All right, so check this thing out to start off with in its SUV form. This actually looks like a really awesome SUV. This looks like what the Cybertruck should look like, in my opinion. Like, th this is what a Cybertruck should look like. All right, let's see how this thing drives in its normal state. I probably should have studied the controls a little bit more, but um, I know that number one is transform. Okay, we got some boost as well. All right, this is actually pretty fast with the boosters on. This looks awesome. Uh oh 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 <laughs> we just missed that oh this thing handles nice even like around corners it has like a drifting effect all right let's press some other buttons i don't know if the other buttons actually do anything in this mode left shift Ooh. i like how it raises the lights to get out of the way of the cannons to shoot that is actually a really awesome looking feature are you guys ready for the transformation? I actually have not personally even seen the transformation yet. I just know that it transforms. All right, here we go. Transforming in three, two, one. I'm not pressing any buttons right now. It's just doing this. Did you notice though, um, there was like a spark that happened during it. Does it just hover? It just hovers, doesn't it? That's awesome. What happens if I transform back then? Oh. Okay, that wasn't bad. But yeah, when I press the transform button, the spark emitters happen. See that? That's actually a really nice effect. All right, so now this actually looks like some type of like animal almost. All right, let's press some more buttons and see what happens now. All right, we can turn. I can go forward. How is this going forward? Is it just leaning? Is it just leaning forward? Is that what it's doing? All right, what about backwards then? Can I go backwards? Well, I'm going backwards. I don't know how though. Oh, okay, we got some mini thrusters in the chest, pushing it backwards. All right, what does shift do now? Okay, shift still, oh, look at that. We have uh, our cannons are on the hands there. And now what does left alt do? Oh, left alt goes down so we can land. Oh, this has a strafe as well. We can actually strafe side to side. Oh, up and down, okay, I see now. Up and down is to aim. Seeing the lights go up confused me. I'm like, why is that happening? But it does that so it gets out of the way of the arms pointing up. So now we can aim and then press shift to aim up or if you want to aim down. That's pretty cool. All right, so whenever I press space, do I go higher? I do go higher when I press space. All right, so now I think left alt should bring us back down. Yeah, that is what left alt is for, just confirming that. Okay, oop, that was a little bit of a rough landing. All right, so now if I'm going forward and then I press left alt to go to the ground and then transform, Look at that. That was amazing. All right, so now I want to transform in the air. We're going to pick up some speed. We're going to go off this jump, and we're going to transform in the air. All right, and look at that. That's awesome. And we can rain down destruction from above. All right, so now I'm going to try to descend through the air towards that archway, and then transform and land on the down slope of this jump. I don't know if this is going to work the way I want it to, but we'll find out. All right, here we go. And transform. Holy cow, that almost worked perfectly if the front wheels didn't fall off. Man, this thing is so cool. Like, I love the firing mechanism in car mode. I actually really like car mode a lot. All right, but there's one thing I've yet to try here. Hold on, I gotta rock back and forth a little bit and... Okay, that didn't destroy me at all. That actually just launched me up into the air, further protecting me from my own cannons. Okay, we got it this time. And there we go. We blow ourselves up enough at least to get rid of our cannons. So now we can't blow ourselves up anymore. All right, let's move on to another creation. All right, up next, we're going to be looking at Hyper H1. This is a super fast and easy to control hovercraft capable of hyper speeds around 400 kilometers an hour. Apparently, it got third place on the canal on Race Island. So this is by Braval. All right, here we go. So let's check this thing out. Oh, look how it turns. It turns the entire front hover pads with the wings on them. That's pretty cool. Just normal WASD controls. Holy cow. There's a lot of space in there. You could have put more thrusters in there. Oh boy. Oh boy, it does not like uneven ground. Uh-oh, uh-oh. But this thing actually controls really well. 
Hold on, let's see. Uh oh, oh, this might not work well. What? Okay, we're just flying now. No problem. <laughs> this is not what I was expecting to happen with this. This flies pretty nicely. All right, can we uh, go back? Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna work. All right, what I actually wanna do though is get onto the water because the hover pad should work on water and then we won't have any obstacles to deal with. So let's see if we can. This might be a little bit easier. There we go. All right, now we should have uninterrupted. Oh, whoa. I don't know what happened there. But we're going out. Man, this thing is really fast. Look at the design. The design is so good. Oh, and look at the the air intake next to the seats for the uh, for the thrusters. That's actually pretty cool looking too. I I am really surprised. We dig into the water when we turn really sharp, but it seems to handle it pretty well. And it actually it adds a cool effect to the turning. I like that. And it turns so well. All right, how's the transition gonna be from water to land over here? Let's see what happens. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> I could have picked a better spot, but that was fun to see either way. All right, let's move on to another creation. All right, up next we got this thing. This is called Skater. It is a hovercraft-like creation demonstrating the use of sideways go-kart wheels. It uses five power cores. This is by Salty Pretzel. Let's see what this thing's all about. Whoa, that just instantly like took off when I pressed it. Look at this. This is so good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, I'll try better. I'll try better this time. All right. Okay. All right, I'll try better again this time. This thing's actually kind of hard to turn because of the tail fins. They want to uh, straighten you out, so you have to really fight the turning. Yeah, turn, turn, turn. Oh, boy. Oh. Everything's good. We're good. See, look. Perfectly fine. Everything's normal. I'm surprised that this works as well as it does to be honest like it's just it's just rubber wheels Hovering on the ground basically or sliding on the ground. They should have friction on the sides, but nope All right, let's drive right into this here as you can see it's pretty easily controllable I can uh, go where I want to go. So oh, let's try a jump. Let's try this jump here um, Okay <laughs> That was impressive Oh, can we do a backflip? Yes, we can. Look at that. This is not going to end well, though. All right, well, I think that pretty much sums up this creation. Look, it slides without even you wanting it to. It's just going away. It has a mind of its own now. Careful, there's an explosive barrel over there, you know. Do you want to die? Is that what you... Okay, no, he missed it. All right, up next, we're looking at Realistic Dodge Viper SRT. This is by Dave SVK. All right, this thing has to be one of the best design, like, factors I've ever seen on a car build. Like, I always have a really hard time getting the hood of a car to look like a hood of a car and, like, the wheel wells to look like wheel wells. It's, it's always very, like, difficult to have those curves, I guess you could call them but how you having to use these angular blocks and stuff to create it. It always takes up a lot of space to try to create those things. And he's done this really, really well. There's so many, like, just so, it just looks, the contours look perfect. It looks amazing. All right, this thing has thrust too. All right, let's drive around for a little bit. Look at the lights. The lights are good. Like everything is just awesome on this. I mean, it's not the fastest car, but look at the size of it. I mean, you, you gotta give it some credit. It still goes like 150 probably even more if I go straight. All right, let's crash this thing though. This feels like this thing is pretty heavy and has a lot of pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and crash into this archway and see what happens. Or the sign in front of the archway. All right, and... Ooh, that was nice. Oh, look, what's happening under here? Okay, okay. Our axle is like a solid axle. So it's still there, but it's just what? Oh, and it's gone. All right, let's go off this jump too. Let's see how it handles landing with impact. I just noticed even the interior looks kind of nice with the seats. Oh boy, here we go. Uh oh, this isn't gonna be good. Ugh. Okay, yeah, our front wheels aren't the most stable or secure. Oh no, this is getting worse and worse. Hey, we still got three wheels. We can still drive. Oops. Okay, up next, I have no idea what to think about this. This is the ultimate taco maker microwave of tools. This MLG taco car can drive after it's toasted and ready. 
To activate taco making, simply press space once. If you're a silly penguin like me who wants taco, then you'll love this creation of doom. <laughs> This is clearly a, a reference to the penguin that wanted a taco that one time in that one video and somehow it's the meme is still alive. All right, so this crazy idea is by Legerl of Arthur. Le Legerlof Le Legerlof Arthur. So apparently all we got to do is just press space. All right, so I'm in What are these things on the top? All right, well, I'm just going to press space and see what happens. Actually, let's uh let's face this and because we have better lighting here. There we go, better lighting. All right, space. I don't understand. What are all those things on the top? Okay, we're getting toasted apparently. I am so confused. Oh, is that? What? Uh. Is those the toppings? They look burnt. They look completely burnt. What is? <laughs> it's actually, they just put it all in there. I feel like it should be colored like, you know, orangey yellow for the cheese and maybe some green for lettuce and I don't know, but it's just all burnt crisps. Thanks for my burnt. It is a very toasty taco. And of course, all of the fillings fall out just like a normal taco. So, you know, um, it's a... now it's a especially toasty taco. We've toasted it to oblivion. It doesn't even exist anymore. All right, so who wants taco? If you want taco, hit the like button. Every like is is one taco. Oh, this is a durable taco. Okay, moving on. We have the Suhawk 1 712 kilometers an hour hypercar. So Suhawk stands for Super Ultra Hyper OMG Car, apparently. This creation is by HSC07. I don't know if we're gonna be able to reach top speed on this map, but I'm gonna try my best. All right, here we go. So you can even change the steering angle. So right now it stares super sharp, but when you're going faster, you can change so that the angle is way, way less extreme. So now you can see this is how sharp I can turn. Oh boy. All right, well, here we go. I don't even know. Whoa, what is, oh, there's a, there's a hover pad thing in there. I think this uses the hover pad glitch for sure. Man, this thing picked up so much speed. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> that is insane. All right, here we go. Okay, it is every little, this thing goes so fast that every little bump just sends you flying off the ground. All right, we're going over to the test map. It just has to be done. All right, here we go. Now let's see if we can get up to 700 and more kilometers an hour. 712, was it? It's getting there. It is definitely getting there. Look at this. We broke 700, so I'm happy with that. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is it, did it say 712? Did we break its own record? All right, we got 716. Where's the wall? I thought we were gonna, 717. We're gonna hit this wall at some point. There it is. Ooh. That is a fast car. So apparently it works well in first person too. So this is what first person looks like. So let's see what it feels like to go 700 and seven, or 17, 712 kilometers an hour in first person. I'm trying to like go straight on a line here, but it's not easy. So I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do what I do best. I'm gonna activate my steering hinges to go maximum to 20 degrees. And I'm gonna turn as sharp as I can while I'm going 714 kilometers an hour. And turn. That is not, that is not what I was expecting. Okay. Oh no. This is fine. What is happening? I Look at what we're doing. We're going to almost six, <laughs> what? I think the hover pad is keeping it from flipping over. That was amazing. All right, what happens if I turn the hover pad off? All right, I think I turned the hover pad off. Now I'm gonna try to turn. You know what? No, it wasn't really the hover pad doing that, was it? Yeah, the hover pad is off right now. I'm just, I'm just going. Oh boy. This thing's amazing. I don't think this is, it hasn't even lost a part yet. This thing hasn't gotten damaged whatsoever. I don't know where the wall is or when it's gonna come. I have no idea what direction I'm facing compared to where I started. Oh, let's turn the hover pad back on. Hover pad will give us more speed. There's the wall. Well, that wall got very close very quickly. Did you guys have a favorite creation of everything you saw in this episode? Let me know what it was down in the comments below. I think mine was the transformer that we started off with. That was 
very amazing. If you guys want to see a whole bunch of other crazy creations from the workshop, then you're going to want to check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.